Hi, I'm Ryan with Iron Planet Hobbies. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about setting up LocoNet sensors to be used with turnouts and other functions. Okay, to get the LocoNet sensors up and activated, we're using a product by Digikais. It's the DR4088 GND and this comes in several different versions. It comes in an S88 version and the LocoNet version, and it also comes in a start set. Uh, the basic version has 16 channels or 16 sensors, and the start set has 32. And so what this does is it allows you to add a push button or a toggle switch or some other type of a switch, switching sensor that will put a local net sensor message onto the local net, which can then be picked up by the command station and or the PC. And that sensor message can be attached to a turnout. And it doesn't have to be a local net turnout. It just needs any kind of a uh, turnout module or decoder that picks up signal from the DCC, then can be mapped to that sensor and therefore will be able to throw the turnout. And then of course the board can be set to whichever starting address that you like to begin the sequence of the numbers that would uh, follow on each of the turnouts. So uh, for instance, this one with 16 channels could control up to 16 individual turnouts. And those can be done by um, simple things like a momentary push button. It could also be latching and again, uh, like a toggle switch. And so there are several ways you can get the sensor message into the computer or onto the local net if you're using local net or s88 if you're using s88 network so i will take you over to layout and show you a panel i put together using this module right here and what it looks like all right over here at the layout um, in this corner back here there are several turnouts and for an operator to reach those during an op session is a little bit tricky because they are a little bit uh, the ways back in there so what I did is put together uh, this panel right here and you can see the different uh, push buttons on there and the uh, corresponding track that they go to and so each one of the push buttons is connected to a terminal strip on one of the legs of the push button which is right behind here on the other side of the fascia and then the other leg goes back to the DR4088 and so when a button is pushed it makes the connection uh, it completes the the circuit and so therefore that puts the sensor onto the local net and so i also not only do i have single uh, turnouts controlled uh, right here is a uh, crossover track and so by pushing the button you can see in here the crossover throws both turnouts at each end are connected to the same sensor so uh, this whole section right here is again through the panel right here very easy to set up and then I have the the board down here and you can see it right there and I just have those are the ones for the wires that are going out that go back up to the terminal strip and then onto the buttons and so that's how easy it is to set up uh, local net sensors and very uh, economical affordable way of doing that and if you'd like to see how those are set up inside the computer inside jmri uh, please leave a comment below and we'll see if we can't do that for the next video and as always thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more videos